Zabers, do you feel this is a game you guys could have won in regulation? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, we, we 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 dug we dug it out at, uh, at the nine minute mark. We were down ten, and we, we got we got stops that we wanted. Uh, we just didn't complete complete the mission by getting the last stop of the other game. Just the, the the last two possessions, basically the last two possessions of regulation. They, you know. Mike obviously lets you guys just play through that. Just what did you want on the first one, and, and obviously at five point four at the end to try to make something happen. Just what happened on each, each of those possessions? What did you want to happen? And what? Uh, I mean, I, I can't. I ain't gonna start a real play, but I mean, we just trying to get the ball down, down the trace and make 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 make, him, um, make, make Liddell foul or, or make a play at the rim for Trace, and, and if we didn't get it down there, and we got we got a turnover. And, you, you guys, sorry, sorry. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say you guys have talked a lot about trying to figure out how to convert some of these close losses into wins. Are there? I know it's early after this one, but are there are there things that you can kind of point to some, across a lot of these close losses that you can sort of say, I guess, consistent themes, basically? Uh, I mean, just the defending and, 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 and defending without fouling, and, and that, that's, that's the main thing. Uh, we, got, we got to learn to defend without fouling again and put, keep putting teams at the line in the, in the, in the, uh, into the four, four minutes, the last four minutes of the game. Did just, you get to home? Hold on. Okay. Jeff. Yeah. I just, uh, Obviously, personal situation with your grandfather. Just tell me about you know going through that, your relationship, and what made you guys so close. What made him so important to you? Uh, I mean, he's, he's a grandfather. He's my family. Uh, my mom, it's my mom's dad. So I mean, he's always close. Uh, we always had a different bond. Uh, he, he always talked to me. Uh, I always had a conversation with him, and I, I, I miss him. But I really don't want to talk about it that much. Kim, this is kind of a roller coaster game for you. you had five turnovers early, and then you kind of settled in and. Made a bunch of free throws in the second half. Just what, what were the emotions like for you throughout this game, kind of up and down, and how did you kind of regain maybe your focus a little in the second half of the game? Uh, I mean, I mean, I just tried to slow down because uh, most of my turns were on force. Uh, I, I was making making bad passes, two strong passes, to, uh, just just all, all balanced passes, and, and I just got control and, and started started playing to myself. Tell me. What do you guys have to do in the next couple of days to get back home, be at Maryland, and get this thing turned around? Uh, we got to be a greedy team again. Uh, uh, we, like I said, Nate, we got next, another game on Thursday, and we got to get down with it. It's important because uh, I mean, we don't want to we don't want to go down in our final stretch and, and keep losing games. So I mean, the last four, we got to win. Mike, what was it like in the locker room? Are guys staying positive, and who's taking the lead? Uh, yeah, we are taking the lead because uh, we all we all know uh, what we want to do. Because uh, nobody in the locker room has went to the tournament, so I mean, we still on the mission. Last question. I meant to ask you this on the last shot in regulation. It looked like you might have gotten fouled. Did you? Did you? Uh, I mean, I ain't gonna talk about it. Uh, ref didn't call it, so <laughs> <laughs> ref, ref didn't call it. <laughs>